Now we start with the slides and the, the content. We're going to be looking at creating momentum for growth. It's important that you have respect for knowledge. You certainly do. And I have respect for you and people who engage in these sorts of activities. And it's important, therefore, because it's reflected in the way that you have respect for your business. You are investing in yourself. That is important. Building your knowledge. I deeply believe if you are not learning, you're moving backwards. If nothing else, because everyone else is. In the competition, the market is moving ahead. Therefore, you're building your business and being entrepreneurial in your approach. Now, two main engines to this momentum story with eight steps in between. The main engines are design and execution. Let's have a look quickly at the components. We start with compelling insights, understanding the deep motivations and drives of people's behavior and feelings. Therefore, what is compelling value for them? And compelling equity, compelling profits or social good, depending on what you're aiming for. We put these all together into the power offer. That is an offer that is much more than just a physical or functional product, has social and emotional components into it. And then we move on to the execution. Bring the product or the power offer to market. If we're doing it well, we create vibrant satisfaction and retention, repeat custom, but also advocacy for our approach and deep, vibrant engagement. People who want to be with us and go out of their way, not only to buy our product and keep on buying it, but also to keep on being advocates for our approach. So traction and movement connected by this power offer. A little bit about me. You'll see some private and public sector associations uh, in different countries and exposure to different geographic markets. I've looked at Asian, Latin America, European markets, developing and developed. My very first job out of university was in the department of the prime minister and cabinet. In fact, they sponsored me in my final year of the economics degree. Varying teaching institutions, uh, whether it be University of Adelaide, Captain Business School, Australian Institute of Management, or INSEAD, very proud about that, financial sector, Fidelity Investments, ANZ, major Australia bank, where I worked in a futures broker, or Citibank, major bank, Henderson Investors, where I was uh, the analyst, sovereign analyst for, and strategist, of course, for developing economies. At the moment, I also do pro bono broadcasting. I really love current affairs, so I bring that into a community radio program and have board directorships in disability and aged care organisations. That's why I pay a lot of attention to social outcomes as well as only profits. I've already talked a little bit about my educational qualifications, economics degree, MBA from INSEAD, top business school in the world, one of the major associations, and a PhD in business model entrepreneurship. So the steps we'll go through are to look at discovery for growth, innovation, how we create and evolve products and offerings, leadership. Now, these two steps and these approaches require a special type of leadership. Not everyone can do it. And then we start to think about how did you learn? We have different learning styles, different approaches, some are very theoretical, some very experiential. And another step beyond uh, these modules is to follow the DIG business game. It's an online game that I'm accredited to run, Discovery, Innovation, Growth. And we'll look at that. The three building blocks for creating momentum for value creation are customer discovery, power offer, and the ongoing engagement. That's the ambition behind the roadmap. So by discovery, we mean just going beyond our way. It's not only my or our way of thinking. That in fact, it's what the market tells us. A power offer is much more than just physical or functional product. And finally, the engagement, more than just focusing on short-term revenues and profits. You can do this at three levels, at the organizational level, at the unit level, and then for you. What's my personal business model? The approach is uh, valuable, is relevant at all these levels. The dig simulation that I was talking about is an online computer game. Very realistic. There are eight important activities that you go through, decisions that you need to make. At the conception level, 
There's discovery, the insights that we were talking about earlier, testing them to see whether they could go into a product offering, and then deciding whether the offer should include these new insights and specs. The fourth of these conceptual uh, decisions is boosters. Let's say positioning approach, positioning decision for the product and the business. Then we have to execute in the online game. Decisions about pricing, which is sold as a yearly subscription, so like a service as a subscription. Communications, whether we have interactive person communications with customers or mass communication or both. And finally, decisions about access, whether to invest more or less into distribution channels and a sales force. And the reality is we always have budget constraints and that's what uh, we, uh, we see also in this game. It's a thousand units per year, it's easy to think about, but important that we can use that to think about these two different types of series of activities. So that's where we're headed and look forward to the journey with you.